Hey guys, it's me Jane. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to go through the top 10 most powerful miraculouses. Miraculouses? Miraculi? I googled it. It says miraculouses, so I'm just going to go with that. So these are the top 10 most powerful miraculouses from the show Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir. I love Miraculous Ladybug and I am eagerly waiting for more episodes because it's just so thrilling to watch, especially the Love Square, one of my favorites. So when I'm waiting for new episodes, I decided why not make a video on Miraculous because I haven't really shared anything with you guys on Miraculous. So I know I'm saying Miraculous, I'm saying it a lot. So I have ranked the Miraculouses on how useful they would be when fighting a villain. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So at number 10, we have the Bee Miraculous. So the Bee Miraculous is quite helpful and it gives you a sort of stinger-like thing, like the ones that bees have on your hand. And just with the one sting, it immobilizes a person completely. And I know this could guarantee a win definitely, and it's just such a cool and pretty miraculous but it doesn't really go very high on my list because it's just it does guarantee a win by immobilizing but i feel like other miraculouses are more powerful and could do more like damage to the villain at number nine we have the horse miraculous and this miraculous is used for teleportation so this miraculous can be used to save a bunch of people from a space train you heard me right a space train or take a cup of coffee from Hawk Moth. If you know what I mean, like if you watch the episodes, you get it. So, this Miraculous can be used in several ways and may lead to the ultimate win and that's why I think it's so useful. At number 8, we have the Dragon Miraculous. Now, this Miraculous gives you some powers that are not even related to a dragon. Isn't that nice? So this Miraculous gives you water and wind powers, at least that's what we've seen so far because we only have one episode on this Miraculous. And you can use these, this water and this wind in its original state and you can sort of manipulate it in a way and you can defeat the villain if they're a robot, you know, that's helpful. It also gives you a sword, but not every one of us are privileged enough to go to fencing classes, so... Uh, at number seven, we have the Cat Miraculous. Yes, Cat Noir, you rank at number seven, which might beg the question, like why is Cat Noir at number seven or at least the Cat Miraculous? Well, it's because of age, I suppose, because if you're older, you get to use this Miraculous more often. You get to use Cataclysm more often, but when you're so young, you can only use it once. And with this only one-time power, I feel like it's not as, great as the other miraculouses and it's only used for destruction so mm. also after this cataclysm is activated you only have five minutes to use the power or else you would transform back so it's still kind of a lose-lose in a way at number six we have the snake miraculous so this miraculous is used by luca at least so far and this miraculous is also very helpful it's like a checkpoint and it's related to time so this Miraculous can guarantee a win against the villain because whatever they do just can be reverted back with a slide of your bracelet. And also it sort of moves along the love square, you know, if you know, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's sort of time controlling Miraculous and it could be super helpful in battles as we've seen so far. At number five, we have the Fox Miraculous. Now this is actually one of my favorite Miraculouses just because of the power of illusion. I seem to have some sort of weird obsession with illusion. This Miraculous could be very helpful when you're trying to trick or when you're trying to distract a villain. And when you're distracting a villain, basically Ladybug and the others can sort of save the day, but you did most of the work technically. So the value of this Miraculous is increased even more because of its holder, which is Alia. She's super smart and super intelligent, and this makes her able to use this Miraculous to its best advantage. The only sort of downside with Illusion is that if someone touches the Illusion or the Mirage, then it disappears, so that's kind of sad. At number four, we have the Rabbit Miraculous. We haven't actually seen much of the Rabbit, but from what we can see, it's basically a time travel Miraculous. This Miraculous is so powerful that it's only used when really necessary because nobody wants to mess with time, like ever, right, right, right? Like, 
I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you like the shows with the plots of all of that time travel. It also allows the Miraculous Holder to jump through time. Like, how cool is that? And they can rewrite history if they wish to, which is exactly what we saw in Cat Blanc. Blanc, how do you pronounce that? But it was a great episode, one of my favorites. Number three, we have the Ladybug Miraculous. This Miraculous is able to create lucky charms, which leads to the ultimate defeat of the villain. It can also cleanse an Akuma, which is very helpful in these situations. And another thing that it can do is revert all the damage that is caused during battle, which is again, very helpful, or we would have a broken or jumping, you know, Eiffel Tower. All in all, this Miraculous does deserve this spot because it's so helpful and it has so many different abilities. And now at number two, we have the Peacock Miraculous. This Miraculous allows the holder to create something, a duplicate of something, or create a monster, a new thing altogether, or even create such a good replica of a person. For example, Ladybug. We have seen this Miraculous at its best when it created a duplicate of Ladybug as well as a duplicate of Bubbler. The holder of this Miraculous can also communicate with this Senti monster and can make it do anything. This also keeps the holder safe and hidden and they can control this Miraculous from this hidden place and get the work done. And finally, at number one, we have the Butterfly Miraculous. When somebody has intense negative emotions, this Miraculous can use an Akuma to Akumatize that person. The holder can give this person any powers the holder wishes, as well as communicate with the victim. This way he can reach whatever goal he has in mind quite easily. Now, even if the holder is defeated, it still won't defeat the akumatized person and only ladybug is able to finally defeat this person like properly and that brings me to the end of this week's video i apologize for not posting last week because i was super focused on my shorts but do check out my shorts because i do post a bunch of miraculous content there as well and there won't really be an upload schedule for the shorts just i'll upload when i feel like it but i will try to upload every sunday on this main channel Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button and share this video to everyone you know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye!